Good morning fellow nerds, geeks, ladies and gents. So today in the video what I'm going to be doing is going through a few of the patch notes for the recent Rattan Resistance patch into Conqueror's Blade. I'm also going to be doing a massive giveaway for Conqueror's Blade. So if you are interested in that then do stick around and I will tell you what you can win and how to go about winning it as well. So, before I get into the video, are you part of the 95.8% of the not subscribed watching? If you are, please do consider subscribing if you are enjoying this game because there's going to be loads of videos coming up on the channel of this game. Make sure you hit the notifications bell as well so this will notify you as soon as I release a video. I want to bring this number down. Please do become part of the subscribe crew because 95% of people aren't subscribed and that is a lot of people. Let's get into the video. So the Rattan Resistance update has finally released for the game. Now this does bring about a few different changes, fixes, bugs, fixes and everything to the game. Now the major things about this patch are the new units it has brought into. So it's actually brought five units into the game. Now these are the Rattan uh, army guys and you've got two melee you've got two ranged and you've got one cavalry as well and they come with their own new tree which I'm just showing you on the screen as well now now some of these units are fairly cheap to get and you can get them pretty quickly however to get the actual uh, top tier cavalry unit you've got to unlock pretty much everything to get there so it is quite a bit of work to actually get to that top tier unit for the rat and resistance what I've heard though I've not actually played the top tier unit I've played all the others but I haven't played the top tier unit and from what I've heard the top tier unit of the Rattan Resistance is definitely worth the honor grind. So if you're looking at a cavalry which has a ranged attack, then this is possibly one for you. Have a look at actually what you need to do and go through the unit tree and what you need to unlock and how much honor you need to grind out and have a think about actually unlocking that one if you are looking at a kind of different cavalry unit compared to what the main tree offers you. Also, what the Rattan Resistance update has bought is three time-limited PvE events. So I've been playing a few of these and I'm going to put a bit of gameplay from one of them up right now. And actually, the rewards from this are quite good. You do get a lot of honour, you do get a lot of bronze and the matches aren't overly difficult. They count as Expeditions 1, so you get in those weekly rewards as well from that quest. And actually, they don't take too long five of you in the game and it's a fairly fun map actually as well of having to defend a marshal while the town's being attacked by pirates. I've not actually played the Scourge PvE event yet because it's not been available but once I actually get to the point where I can play that I will record it and I will put some gameplay footage of that as well. So not only are those changes been implemented so new units and new pve events but like i said there's been a whole host of different optimizations and bug fixes as well i'm not going to go through all of them because there is quite a few but probably the main ones are personal storage expansion you can now purchase for 200,000 silver coins or 1500 sovereigns an item from the smuggler which will increase your personal storage by eight slots if you were playing before the pre-season as well, you should have now had a mail from Conqueror's Blade and they've actually given you two free personal storage expansions in the mail. So if you are struggling with space, then you should have had those in the mail if you were playing before the season one started. If not, or if you are still struggling for space, then go over to the smuggler in any of the towns where he is and purchase an item which will increase your personal storage for a little bit more. So a couple of other different changes is they've tried to sort out the matchmaking and the level balance when you're entering games. There's a few different rules to territory rules they've changed where people can only kick out certain people out of the game now instead of pretty much everyone if you were the first one in there. And they've changed a few of the different items as well. So the weekly quest awards you are more than likely going to get a treatise from pretty much all of the gifts now and these increase the better the gift is so 
Capage's gift, you're going to get one tree ties, and then from there, you in the squires, the knights, and the marshals, you're going to get two guaranteed every single time. So that actually gives you a lot of stuff which you can unlock fairly quickly just by going through and doing all the weekly quests. So make sure you are doing those. Like I said, there's a load of different changes to the new player tutorial, a load of miscellaneous changes as well. I'm not really going to list those because they're not huge things. There's a couple of different balance adjustments to the short sword, the long sword, the bow, and the musket but again they're only changing the uh changing a few of the skills a little tiny bit so i'm not going to bother listing any of those for you however what i will do is i'll put a link in the description box below for you if you do want to go and read all of the different patch notes for the patch so massive giveaway thank you to conqueror's blade team mr drew the community manager for this one because he has sent me quite a few codes to actually give out to you guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give half away on this video the other half you're going to need to get onto my twitch channel and you're going to have to have a uh, you're going to have to be um, following on twitch and I will tell you how to win those over on twitch when you're actually over there when I do the giveaway stream however here in, for the video I've got three 30-day premium statuses codes to give away I've got two seven-day premium status codes to give away and I've got three 200 sovereign codes to give away as well so that's a lot of different rewards so that's eight separate prizes to give away and these will be randomly given away to the winners so there'll be eight winners drawn out of a hat and these will be randomly given away to you so you may end up with 200 sovereigns you may end up with a seven days premium you may end up with a 30 days premium so if you enter and you win I am literally just going to randomize everything just out of fairness to everything. If you do enter and you do win, you will want one of those three prizes. So what do you do to actually enter? So I'm going to set up a Gleam page and the link in the description box below for you will take you over to Gleam. Now there's going to be a few different things you need to do. Things like subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe, uh, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. Obviously the more of these uh, things that you do, the higher your chances will be because these will increase your chances in the competition and once I actually draw I will put a new video out about the winners as well so I'm going to be running this competition for two weeks so this competition will end in two weeks time around the 6th of December so if not next Friday the Friday after there will be a video of all the winners on that Friday so keep an eye out for that if you do into enter now entering is going to be totally free you don't need to pay for your sub or anything like that you don't need to put any money in whatsoever however like I said if you follow me on all the different platforms that I'm going to list on Gleam, that's going to be increasing your chances massively in this competition the more you enter the more chances you have of winning so I'm going to leave this video there Good luck to all of you that do enter. Please do share this video around as well. I always say it, but please do share this video around. The reason why I've got so many codes to give away this time is because I do, I am starting to get a lot more views on Conqueror's Blade, and this is obviously being seen by the Conqueror's Blade team. We've increased viewership, we've increased engagement with the audience and everything. The more codes I will be given for giveaways like this. So please do share this around to everyone. If you're playing Conqueror's Blade in your house, put it on your house Discord. Put it everywhere where someone who is playing Conqueror's Blade can see it. And I will be given more codes in the future to do even bigger giveaways than this one. Thank you very much for watching folks, I wish you all the best of luck when you do enter the competition, like I said, enter as much as you can and increase your chances as best you can. Two weeks time, Friday the 6th, there will be a video about the winners on that day. Good luck to each and every single one of you, I sincerely, sincerely mean that, and I will see you in the next one.